From Memorial Day ceremonies to wild weather, our reported inbox overflowing. I'm not going to lie, it was hard to narrow down the best of the best for our weekly recap, but here is a look back at the last week through your pictures and videos. This past week, the pictures truly told the stories. There were the stories of wild weather, the tornado or tornadoes that touched down in western Massachusetts Wednesday evening. We got pictures from David, Paul, Jim, and DJ. At the same time, across northern Connecticut, the skies looked at first angry and then eventually orange. The skies opened in the southeastern part of the state Wednesday evening. Dan, Kevin, Eric, Justine, Amy, and Amber sent us pictures after gathering a handful of hail from their yards. Your photos told the story of what happened when a train hit a car in Milford on Sunday and when a scooter crashed there Monday. We got pictures of several car fires. Jason sent us one from 95. We got one from Route 8 on Tuesday and another one from 84 on Wednesday. Steve sent us a snapshot of a Sunday afternoon house fire in Brantford and Tyrone got some video of a garage fire in Bridgeport. There were stories of animals in odd places like the cow Tony and Rachel saw on Route 9 in Middletown and the deer Ralph spotted on the beach in Westport. And there were stories of odd animals like the white squirrel Joe saw in West Haven, the rare Luna moths reported by Cindy in Northford and Margaret in Brantford, and what John Paul calls an ambitious ant. But mostly this week you shared your stories of how you marked Memorial Day. From a field of poppies in Stratford to a sea of flags in Stamford and one in Danbury. From six-month-old Christian's first trip to the Statue of Liberty to this three-year-old in uniform honoring his pop-up service. People of all ages gathered, no matter the weather, for ceremonies and parades, families coming together. Yes, to mark the unofficial start of summer, but more important, to remember the fallen and appreciate our freedom. As always, send us those pictures, videos, and story suggestions. Use the reported feature on WTNH.com or the News 8 app on your smartphone.